In this video, we're gonna talk about how to complete the entire ICSE class 10 syllabus in 1 to 1.5 months. I know the exams are so close and what should be your revision strategy as well as how to prepare starting right now. Don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on these amazing ICSE content that has been helping so many of y'all and trust me this complete ICSE series on YouTube will help you prepare very well for your exams. Every single thing is covered and you will be able to score above 95% like 96, 97, 98. 99 even a hundred percent in all your subjects let's just get started if you're starting right now i would still recommend using the traditional methods like reading the textbook doing practice questions from any reference book that you prefer i've shared in this video which books i used and you can definitely check those out or also see the pdf you do not need to buy anything now because abhi order karoge, it'll take one to two weeks to come it's just better to use a pdf instead because since you don't have that much of time sample papers won't recommend right now so the first thing that you should do is complete the entire syllabus reading once then start one shot video just spam lectures you can put it on 1.5x 2x like that and then finish off all the lectures if you have any subject related questions or doubts post it in the telegram group linked in the description and there will be students to help you out so it will help you clear your doubts all your concepts will be very clear then you need to start doing tenure paper tenure papers once you start them you will feel like you're not ready or you're not able to you know answer so many questions for that you just need to take the answer key of the tenures and learn from there just keep learning and it will help you improve like for every little thing if you come back to the textbook and then do it will be a lot more chaotic and you will not be able to finish it and trust me this might not seem effective but trust me it really is complete the entire tenure papers once revise all your notes and then you need to attempt the entire tenures again the second time when you're doing your tenures you should be able to answer every single question properly write it down and do so you remember for that when you're doing it for the first time you need to learn it very nicely and keep revising it like i would do one thing for example i'm studying today i would take three to four hours and i will complete at least two to three papers of for example bio whichever subject you're good at you should be able to finish three to four papers minimum in a day yes easily like i know the timing is of two hours or three hours paper but uh, i used to do it so many students do it and so can you it's not that difficult completing four five papers in a day most students complete four five ten year papers in one day yeah writing it down like if it's your strong subject you'll be able to do it if it's your weaker subject you could do one paper like every day in the morning i used to do like two hours of english after that i would do maths and and bio chemistry physics like all my subjects i would keep a little time slot for that so a little rough timetable for you right now you should wake up early before school try to study for an hour uh, revise what your teacher has taught the previous day and also read a bit extra so you're not wasting time in your class because trust me it'll take you a lot of time if you don't pay attention in class and you come back home you'll have to study the entire thing again so you have to time waste ya to school jao hai mat but you have to go because of the attendance and everything don't miss school pay attention in class complete what's done in class in school itself complete all your homework also in school itself try to do it try to study for four to five hours if you haven't studied at all you need to study a minimum of five hours like if you're completing the syllabus from scratch it's very easily doable tense isn't that difficult seems difficult but it is really not so if you keep doing you know four to five hours at least every single day other than that uh, if you add on question papers then maybe six seven hours if you study that much uh, then you easily be able to score 97 plus and especially on a weekend saturday sundays 
uh, you should study a lot more like do one thing just you know when you wake up have breakfast come to your table and then decide that you will not get up from your table for the next 3 hours then continuously sit for 3 to 4 hours and then study you should also be able to sit at one position for long hours because when you will be giving the exam you need to stay concentrated the entire 2 and a half 3 hours and even the reading time so you can imagine you need to have that much of focus and concentration it will not come automatically in the exam hall itself you need to keep practicing for that and I would tell you definitely do one question paper every single day in the morning uh, Saturdays and Sundays you can easily do it weekdays when you're going to school you could do half a paper at home then half you can come back and do like do section A of two three papers and then go to school try to utilize your morning hours the most I would do that I would wake up very early November December January are the most important months of your entire preparation jo ekdam beginning se padha hota hai agar is time pe usne padhna band kar diya to uska ho gaya and who has not studied from the beginning starts studying now very you know dedicatedly tries to focus on important things important questions completes all their work like reads the book and then completes all questions and after that does 10 year papers and it's easily doable aisa nahi hai ki aap kar hi nahi sakta abhi 2 3 mahine mein nahi aaram se kar sakte ho like 2 months is more than sufficient to complete your entire 10th if you start doing this the day you are watching this video you will come here a month or two later and you will be so thankful that thank you so much for opening my eyes like it's still possible and you can definitely score really really well if you start now so do not give up don't lose hope just go step by step take it little by little do not think like itna syllabus hai ki then you stop studying only don't do that so do it little by little decide what chapters you want to do first do all important chapters which have more weightage first you'll have the analysis of previous year papers which chapters are more important or if you want I can share it with you like which chapters have more weightage and what you need to do first so that you can maximize your marks that you're gaining and let me know in the comments if you want that video and also what else you would like to see but this is really important knowing what chapter is important and finishing that first most chapters are not related to others so you can skip around here and there complete the chapters of high higher weightage first then go to lower weightage ones and complete it thoroughly like keep revising for example if I'm studying circulatory system today I'll finish the entire chapter in one day even big chapters can be done in a single day then tomorrow what I will do is if I'm doing another chapter for example soil then I will take a circulatory system in the morning I will revise it very nicely again so just before the exam it will be very easy because I have revised like five six times before the exam so I will be able to answer all the questions and for revision ka jo time hota na logo ka that will be saved so if you start revising from now like from the beginning of the year let me know if you want a video on how to revise like a detailed YouTube video where I can share all revision tips and tricks how to revise like throughout the one and a half months to be able to you know solve all the questions and remember everything retain all the information in your head let me know and don't forget to subscribe and like let me know what you want next and I'll see you next time bye Oh,